Hey guys, so a really long time ago, um, well, a month, about, someone posted a comment that they didn't understand how there could be a negative 12 volts on a computer PSU. So I'm going to be explaining the negative voltage to those of you that don't understand it. It's actually really too simple to understand, right? Everybody knows that positive voltage, right, if we can make an analogy, this, this black line here, this can be our ground, right? Ground representing in the electrical sense. Uh, and in the physical senses, and this is the regular ground as well as the electronics ground. Now, if we were to draw, say, a little cup, right? This is our 5 volts, right? And if we were to pour water into this cup, the, the water would then have potential. That's what voltage is, potential over ground, right? The water now has potential over ground, just as the voltage it represents has potential over ground, right? So, um, that's what a positive voltage is, right? Now keep in mind that there is a um, 5 volt difference between these, right? So between them, there is 5 S, apparently S volts, but actually 5 volts difference between them, right? Now you don't necessarily have to measure ground as your ground. Right, so your multimeter has two leads, right? A ground and a positive. Now you don't you, Now everybody knows if you take a battery, right, and you put the positive, and you take the ground lead of your multimeter and you put it to the positive, it, you'll get a negative voltage, right? That's what I'm about to explain. So there's a difference of five volt between these, right? And this one has a higher potential than this one. Now this one doesn't necessarily have to be ground. This one could be seven volts, and this one could be twelve volts, and then you would get five volts between it, right? Because there's you know, 12 minus 7, that's 5, and um, 7 is lower than 12. So you get 5 volts. If you were to take your multimeter, take the ground, to put the ground on the 7 volts, and then take the positive and put the positive onto the um, 12 volts, you would get 5 volts, because there's a 5 volts difference between them, a positive 5 volts. On your, you, you read positive 5 volts. There's only a regular 5 volts difference between them. So now, if you were to say, put it the other way, and... Um, this one is higher than this one, right? Now, if you were to reference to this one, right, make it ground, right? Since this one is higher, since this one is higher than this one, this one being ground now um, is this one is being lower than it, meaning it's less than ground. It's negative. So all negative voltage is is if you want to get a negative voltage, take your power supply, right? And if you want to get a negative voltage, say your op amp, which is a really common. Um, uh, need of negative voltages, they need dual supplies to get audio signals and whatnot. Um, if you were to say have a 9 volt battery, right, and you take the positive of the 9 volt battery and put that to the ground of your circuit, the negative of the 9 volt battery will now be at negative 9 volts, nominally. Obviously batteries don't have the same voltage all the time. But, um, so that's what your battery will be at, right? It'll be at a negative 9 volt. Well, the battery will have a 9 volts potential between them, but since um, your, your, your op amp will now receive negative 9 volts. And if you're wondering why connecting the positive of the battery to the ground of your op amp doesn't fry it, is because the only uh, way you can fry a power supply by connecting the positive to ground is by connecting the power supply's own positive to the power supply's own ground, um, which is why you can. So think of ground as a reference, right? I'm not sure. I'm just going to provide mindless references until you get it. And if you already have, that's great. You can still listen or not listen, whatever. Anyway, um, oh, what was I going to say? OK, I remember. So ground is like a reference, right? You can take it that the rest of your circuit thinks of ground as 0 volts. Now, as we talked earlier, there is a potential right between two two between the two leads of a power supply one lead is has a higher potential than the other and there's x number of volt potential between the two now if the rest of your circuit were to see the positive uh, so say you had a regular 12 volt power supply right there's 12 volts difference between the two leads which i guess we can represent by these circles right there's a 12 volts difference between the two leads and this lead happens to be higher than this one right so 12 volts potential between them, and this lead is at, is at the higher potential than this one. So if we were to take the rest of the circuit, and the rest of the circuit would pretend that the actual that the positive 12 is 0, right? 
This would then, since it's 12 volts lower, would be negative 12. So that's all a negative voltage is, is a positive power supply flipped around. That's all a negative voltage is, because voltage is all um, relative, right? You can have a 1 million volt power supply and a 1 million and 1 volt power supply. And if you were to reference the 1 million volt power supply as ground, the 1 million and 1 volt power supply would then only be a 1 volt power supply. So, you know, that's, that's how it works. It's all relative. So, um, if you were to reference to say, you know, say you reference to the um, 5 volts of a computer power supply, right? So you were to put your multimeter's ground probe on the 5 volts, right? You connect up to 12 volts, you're going to get uh, 7 volts between them. You connect up to the negative 12 volts, you're going to get negative 17 volts between them. Right? Did I do my math right? Yes, I did. So that's all it is. It's basically relative to the ground you're measuring from that the negative voltage is at a lower potential. That's all it is. It doesn't, doesn't mean it has no potential. It doesn't mean it has negative potential. It's at a lower potential. But if you were, you know, say your ground was a million volts, right? You know, you put your multimeter's ground probe to a million volts, and then you put the positive probe to, you know, 100 volts, right? You get a really big negative voltage. That doesn't necessarily mean that the negative voltage has, is at a very low potential, which means that it's lower than a million volts. So I hope that helped. Obviously, I can make another video on this. Um, if you don't understand it, I forget who commented. But for other people, I know negative voltage can be hard to explain and difficult to use. But if you need a negative voltage, just take the um, take a 9-volt battery or AA or whatever battery, whatever voltage you need. Take that power supply. Hook up the positive part of that power supply to the circuit. And the negative part then becomes your negative voltage. And the, uh, Sorry, the ground then becomes your negative voltage. So that's all negative voltage is. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Go to the website. There's a blog there that I make that um, explains more particle physics and electronics that I never talk about on these videos. It's extra for those if you go to the website. Any files that I make a video of, like a video if it has code or something in it, those files are freely, freely available for download and viewing on the files page. And if you have a video that you want to be able to download, one of my videos that you want, you can uh, comment me and I might put it on the files page, maybe. We'll see. So, thanks for watching.